Welcome to braces brushing 101. Um, so when you when you get your braces on, it's really important that you start if you haven't already brush your teeth three times a day. When you brush your teeth, it's real important that that you're not just going straight across your teeth, but that you're also angling your toothbrush so you get on top of the brackets and angle it so you get up under the brackets. Same thing for the lower teeth. But once you're angling it, you want to do circular motions on top, going all the way around, and then circular motions underneath. You'll notice by doing circular motions, the bristles can really get under the brackets or under the wire and between the brackets to keep everything really clean. We're also going to give you what we call proxy brushes, and we always keep these out front in our mailbox if you run out. These you can use with toothpaste or just as is, and what you do is just go under the wire, and it helps keep the inner proximals area nice and clean, and then along the sides where there's those little hooks, it'll help get any food trapped under there. So it's important to do this three times a day. Now, flossing with braces is a little more complicated. If you have regular floss at home, you'll notice if you try to floss like normal, you're gonna hit the wire and not get to your gums. So we give you a little packet that looks like this, and in there are a bunch of floss threaders. And what you do is you would take a regular piece of floss, thread it through, Take the hard plastic tip and you're going to go under the wire. Oops. Under the wire, you're going to pull your floss through like this. Hold on to one side and then continue pulling the floss. Now your floss is under the wire and you can get close to your gum lines when flossing. It's tricky because you have to do that for every tooth. So we also give you a sample pack of these. It's Platypus brand. You'll notice that one side's a little bit thicker and one's thinner. The thin side helps to get under the wire so you can floss each tooth real easy. So these are a really good tool to have at home. With braces, it's important to pay attention to foods that you're eating. When it comes to corn on the cob, you wanna make sure that you cut the corn off the cob so that way you're not biting into the corn itself because that's, that's the motion of biting into something hard that can knock all of your brackets off. Same thing with like an apple. You can certainly still eat an apple, but chop it up into smaller pieces, so that way you're chewing with your back teeth and not your front. Um, hard, hard vegetables like carrots is another thing. You can still eat them, but just make sure that you're chopping them up into pieces, chewing with your back teeth, and being mindful. Um, I don't know if you like to chew on ice, but that's A, bad for your teeth, but it could break brackets. Hard pretzels, hard rolls, like hard pizza crust, these things still eat, but you just be mindful again. You don't want to bite into it. You want to break it up into pieces. You want to stay away from hard candies and sticky chewy candies. These can either break a bracket or pull a wire out, which could cause some discomfort. So you want to be, be really careful with things that you're eating and staying away from the sticky hard candies.